We turn now to a very different kind of storm, a political storm that has been brewing for years right here in New York City. You guys are from Turkey. Brooklyn loves Turkey. Brooklyn is the Istanbul of America. That was New York City Mayor Eric Adams playing himself in a 2017 Turkish film in which Turkish men attempt to bribe New York City Mayor Eric Adams. Today, an indictment was unsealed in the Southern District of New York, alleging that not only was Mayor Adams accepting bribes from Turkish nationals at least a year before that film came out, but that those bribes were consistent and ongoing throughout his time as mayor. Now, I should say that Mayor Adams denies all of it. He says the charges against him are entirely false and based on lies. And there is good reason for him to try and disassociate himself from this indictment. The charges in it are not, not just illegal, but the actions are embarrassingly brazen. Not only does the indictment allege that Adams accepted more than $100,000 worth of bribes in the form of luxury travel and hotel stays and food and entertainment, but the ways in which Adams allegedly took those bribes were comically transparent. For example, in June of 2021, while Adams was actively campaigning to be the mayor of New York City, a Turkish official and a Turkish national allegedly arranged for Adams and his partner to travel to Turkey, stay at the Four Seasons Hotel, take a yacht tour, stay at a luxury beach resort, and have their own private car and driver. Here are the texts setting up that little excursion. Here's Adam Staffer. Adams is also asking where else they can go in Turkey. Do you have a recommendation? Turkish national. Four Seasons. Adam Staffer. It's too expensive. Turkish national. Why does he care? He's not going to pay. His name won't be on anything either. Adam Staffer. Super. Super. Adams did allegedly pay for at least one thing, though. He paid $1,000 for business class tickets on an international flight that would have otherwise been $15,000. Here are the texts showing how they allegedly landed on that $1,000 price. Turkish National. I'm going to charge $50. Adam Staffer. No. Turkish National. That wouldn't work, would it? Adam Staffer. No, dear. $50? What? Quote a proper price. Turkish National. How much should I charge? Smiley face. Adam Staffer. His every step is being watched right now. $1,000 or so. Let it be somewhat real. Now, I should know that that particular trip ended up being canceled. The indictment doesn't tell us why, but that trip is just one of the many trips this indictment alleges Adams was gifted. The indictment alleges that Adams flew free or severely discounted business flights on business class flights on Turkish airlines to India, France, Turkey, Hungary, Sri Lanka, Ghana, and China. Now, if you are familiar with the shape of the globe, you would know that stopping in Turkey to get to most of those places does not exactly make sense. But because this alleged bribe was specific to Turkish airlines, as Mayor Adams put it in a text to his partner, you know the first stop is always Istanbul. So that practically means to go to a place like Nice in France, Mayor Adams would take flights from New York City to Turkey and then from Turkey back to France. He allegedly once even tried to see if Turkish Airlines could get him from New York City to Turkey to Easter Island in Chile, which would require crossing seven time zones to the east and then nine time zones to the west. But hey, business class seats, I guess. The thing is, all of the personal grift alleged in this indictment is really just small potatoes compared to the alleged political grift. Not only does this indictment allege that Adams solicited and accepted illegal foreign donations for his mayoral campaign from Turkish nationals, but it also alleges he compounded his gains from those donations by disguising them as fake small dollar donations so they would qualify for New York City's public campaign fund matching program, a program that ultimately gave Adams' campaign more than $10 million of taxpayer money. So that is what Mayor Eric Adams allegedly got out of the scheme. Luxury vacations and millions of dollars in campaign cash. But what did Turkey get in exchange? Well, the indictment alleges Turkey got some policy items, like Mayor Adams promising to never publicly acknowledge the Armenian genocide. 
But there were also more direct, more obvious favors. Like, for instance, back in 2021, some of the Turkish nationals that had allegedly bribed Adams in the past were eager to open this building, the new 36-story Turkish consulate in Manhattan. They wanted it open in time for Turkish President Erdogan's visit to the U.N. General Assembly that year so that he could stop by and check it out. But the New York City Fire Department hadn't ex inspected the building yet, so it wasn't allowed to open. In a phone call to an Adams staffer, a Turkish official said that they had supported Mayor Adams and that it was now his turn to support Turkey. Adams allegedly responded, I know. The indictment alleges that Adams then pressured the New York City Fire Department commissioner. And it turns out the building had over 60 fire safety defects and could not legally be allowed to open. But Mayor Adams allegedly kept pushing and the building opened anyway. Again, Mayor Adams denies all of this. He is refusing to step down and says he will fight these charges. But the calls for Adams' resignation are growing.